In this example, we use the continuity to evaluate the limit of this given function, which is 3 times sine of x plus sine of x. We need to evaluate the limit of that function at x equal to 5, right? So that's what we need to do it. So how can we find the limit of this by using the continuity? Okay, so you can see here on this given function over here, we have a sine x over here, right? So sine x is actually, you know that this is continuous function on the set of real numbers. And not only that, it's actually x plus sine x is also continuous uh, on the set of real numbers. It's not only that, the sine function composed with x plus sine x is also continuous. So definitely three times sine of x plus sine x. So everything given over here is actually continuous for all the real numbers, right? So if that is the case, um, then we know a fact that if we have a function which is continuous, let's say at a, then actually the limiting value of that must be equal to the value of the function, right? So if f is continuous, this is true. If f is continuous, uh, then the limit of the function must be equal to the value of the function. So if that is the case, since this function over here, the given function is continuous for the set of all real number, right? C O N T I N U O U S continuous, right? So definitely it will be continuous at pi. So if that is the case, to find the val the limit of this function by using this uh, kind of definition of the continuity, we just need to evaluate the function at uh, pi. So let's try to evaluate this function three times sine of x plus sine x at pi. How can we do that? Replace x completely by pi, right? So let's replace that. So we'll have pi plus sine of pi okay so when we do that we know what is sine pi uh, what is sine pi sine of pi is zero right so if you look into the unit circle chart or uh, you can just use your calculator put it on the radian mode and then try to evaluate what is sine pi but you'll get zero so if sine pi is zero then we have uh, this uh, expression is equal to three times sine of pi plus zero and then this is equal to then three times sine pi but again what is sine pi again zero so three times uh, zero right so we get then three times zero that's what we get but that is just equal to zero so if that is the case we just evaluate the limit of the function as zero and we use the definition of the continuity right so we use that fact here since the given function here is continuous at pi so we use this fact when the function is continuous its value must be equal to the value of the the limit of the function must be equal to the value of the function right so uh, at that location so we use that fact